If two snakes marry, what would their towels say? Death do us uh, s -s -s part? <laughs> I don't know. This is so random. His and hers. Oh my gosh, I love it. Hello everybody, it's Yami and welcome to another Gacha Riddles video! I enjoy these videos so much because I get to see if I get them right or if I have the brain of a newborn baby. Guys, if you're excited for this video too, make sure to like the video. Let's try and hit a thousand likes and I'll make another one. And if you're not already, do make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit 5 million subscribers as that is my dream and I'm very close to it. So yeah, make sure to subscribe. Now, now, without further ado, let's get into these riddles and see how many we can answer. All of the prisoners are taking their weekly art class on the rooftop on Monday morning. Ah, oh, look, he's drawing a bunny rabbit. How adorable. After the prisoners finish, they are escorted all the way back to the cell. Why do they all have buckets now, though? I'm so confused. They are always checked thoroughly after the art lessons. One of the prisoners is going to escape. Who is escaping? Good question. Let's Let's take a look at their bucket, shall we? Okay, this first guy, he just has paint and his paintbrushes. I don't think he's gonna escape with that. The guy on the right, I'm not sure he can escape with what he's got either, to be honest. Bottom left, he has a lot of different art supplies. I don't know if he can use all of those to get out. And then the guy bottom right has a pen and also paints. Honestly, I don't know who's gonna escape. They all just have art supplies like they're meant to. But if I had to get, I'm gonna guess top right. I don't know why. Oh, am I right? Oh my gosh, I was. Why? I can't believe it. I actually got that right. It was a complete guess. You know, I actually chose this one because I have no idea what is in his bucket because his supplies are all suspiciously green. His escape plan is to, first of all, he's going to shave, then remove his glasses. Then he's going to use the green paint on his clothes. Then all he has to do is to blend in and act normal. Honestly, I would have never guessed that. What the heck? Look at him, he's walking by. Hey mate, my shift is over. Have a safe journey home. Bye. See you later, dude. Maybe not. I didn't think of that. And I would have never thought of that. That was crazy. Which is heavier? A ton of bricks or a ton of feathers? Well, they both weigh the same. Neither. They both weigh a ton. Oh my gosh, I'm a genius. Let me know if you got that right in the comments down below. One evening, Emma went to take out the trash from her coffee shop. Oh, there's somebody sleeping next to the trash. Or maybe they're not sleeping. Or maybe they're eternally sleeping, if you know what I'm saying. She was about to leave when she spotted something dark. In the corner behind the trash bins, it was a young woman and she was unconscious. Emma rushed to her to help and there was a bag and the girl's phone. The first person on the contacts list was named Big Sister. Ah yes, see, her last call was from her big sis. Emma called and heard a female voice. Emma said, I found your sister laying on the ground. It seems someone hit her on the head. Oh my, how awful. I'll come immediately. The sister is shook. The sister and the police officer arrived at the same time. Arrest this woman, she's behind the attack, and Emma pointed at the sister. Wait, what? The sister is a suspect. Why did she say that? Is it because the police always suspect the last person that spoke or saw the victim? Because that's what I would guess, but I don't know. Let's find out. I was wrong. It was actually because she didn't tell the sister where to come and the sister turned up. So obviously she knew where her sister was and it was a very specific location, wasn't it? Behind some trash bins. How did she know the address? That makes sense. I get it. What kind of code? is best put on wet. Is it a top coat of nail polish? Because that's wet and you need to put that on, right? I've probably got this one wrong as well. Why am I getting them all wrong? I don't know. Let's see. A coat of paint. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna give myself that because I was semi right as nail polish is nail paint. So do I deserve that? I think I do. Tom wants to find his soulmate on a dating website. The first girl is Layla. Her profile says, I'm an artist and I like to make landscape painting. That is so wholesome. I have a cute dog named Poe. I like to play with him. I also love traveling. I've been to so many places. The second girl is Christy. Her profile says, I'm studying music. 
so one day I can be a music teacher. I'm also very afraid of heights and that's why I don't go to theme parks. I also like to practice yoga to keep myself fit and healthy. The third girl is Natalie. Her profile says, I love reading romance stories. They're my favorite. I like to eat out with my friends. I'm also a vegan. Girl is holding a hot dog or is that a vegan hot dog? Cause I know they exist. I am a coach of a football team and I don't like sports. Who should Tom choose? Who should he choose? Honestly, out of all of them, I think he should pick the first girl because she was so wholesome and she likes to paint. I don't know whether or not that's the right answer, but that's who I would pick if I was him. Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, it was her. Why? Christine lied because she's on the roof. Oh, I didn't even realize. I thought that was done on purpose to show that she doesn't like heights. When she said that, she was afraid of heights. She was literally on the roof. Natalie said that she was a vegan. She's eating a hot dog in the picture. So Tom chose Layla. Oh, I'm so glad Tom found the love of his life. That's actually so cute. How sharp are your eyes? Mine are not very sharp. I need to wear my glasses. Okay, it says find the cap. Oh, it's on the top bunk. That was easy. Yes, I got it. Find the teddy bear. Oh, it's right there behind this beanbag. That was also really easy. Yes, I got that one too. Find the gift box. Oh, it's here behind the guitar. Yay, my eyes are sharp even without my glasses. We have another one here that says who doesn't belong in the jungle? I would probably say the dog and the genie. Why is there a genie there? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the genie. I don't know why they're there. He needs to go back to Aladdin. Yes, I got it right. A pet shop owner had a parrot with the sign on its cage that said, parrot repeats everything it hears. Little Jerry bought the parrot and he took it home immediately. Oh, look at him. He looks so happy with his new parrot. For two weeks, Jerry spoke to the parrot. He's trying to train it, isn't he? <laughs> but it didn't say a word. Jerry returned the parrot, but the shopkeeper said, he never lied about the parrot. How can this be? Is it because the parrot is deaf? So he can't hear anything to repeat? Let's find out. The parrot was deaf, I got it right. Although I shouldn't be celebrating the fact that an animal can't hear anything. <laughs> That's actually low key kind of sad. Mr. Smith was found lifeless in his room. <gasps> his windows and doors were locked. The only four people who had the key were questioned. Mary, the cook. I went to ask Mr. Smith for breakfast. I found him lifeless on his bed. I screamed. Matt, the butler. I was cleaning downstairs. When I heard the scream, I ran upstairs and turned on the light and I saw Mr. Smith lifeless in the bed. Trevor, the house help. I was doing my morning chores. Upstairs on the rooftop, I didn't hear anything. Julie, the governess. I was watching over Matt from the living room. I rushed upstairs along with him. Who is lying? I think it was the last woman, the governess, cause she said that she was with Matt. But Matt was downstairs, not in the living room. Unless it's Matt that was lying. It could be either of them, but I'm gonna go with her. Let's find out. It was Mary. Wait, what? I'm shook. The room was dark. She couldn't see Mr. Smith until the butler came in and turned on the light. She self-reported. Wow, I cannot believe this. I thought I got that right, but I was so wrong. Let me know if you got that one right because oh my gosh, that was crazy. Lena was robbed, so she called the police. I was standing outside the shop waiting for my husband to bring the car around. All of a sudden, a man snatched my purse. Oh my gosh, we just witnessed a crime. I only saw him from behind. A witness who claimed he was standing nearby the shop told his side of the story. This woman was standing outside the shop in front of me holding her bag, waiting for someone. A big man in sweatpants, a black shirt, and a red coat snatched her purse and rushed into the store through the fire escape door on the side of the building. A few hours later, the police found the purse and the police arrested him. How did the police know he was the thief? I feel like I'm doing really bad at these riddles today because I have no idea, but I'm gonna say maybe the hair color because she did see him from behind. So she had a little profile on him. The witness said he saw the thief go in through the fire escape door. Fire escape escape doors only open from the inside. He made the whole story up to trick the cops. Oh, I didn't know that. The more you know. <laughs> if two snakes marry, 
What would that towel say? Death do us uh, s -s -s part? <laughs> I don't know. This is so random. His and hers. Oh my gosh, I love it. One day, Mia was found lifeless in her room. Seems like nobody was involved. But the police want to work out all of the versions. They interrogated Mia's family. Lydia's sister said that she was not home. She said that she was out with her friends. She also said that Mia was depressed lately and had been acting very strange. Her mum and dad told the police that last night, Mia came up to our room to hang out with us but she didn't want to talk much. She seemed upset and depressed for some reason. She was acting weird and didn't say goodbye properly. She hugged us on the porch and left for her boyfriend. Mia's boyfriend said, we were at the bar last night. She was depressed and didn't want to talk. We went home just after one drink. What really happened to Mia? I think her sister murdered her and I'm saying that because if you notice, the sisters both have different marks on their hands and it was saying she was Mia, but it had a different symbol. I think she swapped places with her identical twin sister and is pretending to be her which is pretty darn messed up let's find out the answer this is not mia this is her sister lydia i knew it they both have different tattoos see one of the sisters has a heart and the other has a diamond she impersonated mia last night and convinced everyone that mia was depressed she kept to the shadows and hardly spoke so that no one would be suspicious and then she poisoned her sister how could she now we have a spot the difference. All right, so we have a different map. We have different symbols in the eyes. I don't know how many we're spotting here. We have a necklace, different sleeves, different shoes, a halo or a crown, and something in the hair. I'm gonna guess it's seven. So let's see if I got them all right. Hair clip, yes, I got that. An angel ring, I got that too. I got the necklace, the boots were different. The sleeves were different, the face paint, wait, I didn't get that. And the smile was different, but I got most of them, so still pretty good, right? What's wrong here? What is wrong? I mean, we got some very angry characters here, but what else could be wrong in this image? If I had to take a guess from this photo here, I'd probably say the girl on the right, because look at her shoes. You can't be wearing sandals in the snow. Your feet will freeze off. Let's see what it says. Yes, I think I was right. Why? She's wearing slippers in the snow. Well, I wouldn't say they're slippers. I'd say they're more like sandals, but I still got it right. Who is his wife? It's the girl on the left, because he's holding a photo of his wife. And it's the woman on the left, not the right. Yeah, that was so obvious. There is the photograph. Ah, they're so in love. Three friends are locked up in cages. George's cage has an ice block. Jake's cage has hot water that keeps boiling the water. Mary's cage is locked with a lock. And the key is in George's cage. The sea is deep and only Mary knows how to swim. How are they going to escape? Okay, so the first guy has ice, which is stopping him from climbing out. I mean, surely that is just gonna melt and he can just climb out the top. The second guy, he's trapped in a cage with boiling water. And water can only boil for so long before it all evaporates. So then he'll be able to climb out the top. And because George on the left has the key, he can unlock Mary and she can escape. Let's see if I got that right. The ice block will soon melt and soon the boiling water will evaporate. Oh yeah. And then they can unlock Mary's cage. Mary can swim to the boat and row it to them. Oh, I completely forgot about that last part. What is wrong? The second girl has a weapon and it's covered in blood. That's very, very concerning. Also, the guy next to her has a pizza with eyeballs on it. Isn't that concerning too? <laughs> Why was it her? She is holding a weapon with blood on it. Yeah, but also that guy is eating pizza with eyeballs. Is nobody gonna question that? Or is it just me? Harry was going to spend a great time at sea. Unfortunately, he lost his ticket. And then he forgot which bus to go by. Which bus goes to Mexico? I have no idea. It's definitely not the middle one that goes to Canada. So maybe bus number four? Yeah, I thought so. Cause bus number two is written in English and it's a school bus. Bus number two is a school bus and bus number eight is going to Canada. Nice, spot seven differences. Okay, let's go. Different hair flowers. This is actually really hard. Different color bag in the background, different color shoes in the background. In the closet, at the top right, we're missing a green thing. Uh, the colors above the crown are different. That's five. The color on the crown is different. I don't know. I'm missing one of them. Let's find out where it was. Oh my gosh, it was the shadow. That's what I was missing. Then we had the flower color. I got that one right. The crown, I got that too. The shoes, the purse, the clothes in the wardrobe. The handle, I didn't see that one. 
who is a vampire. Is it the guy on the left? It's the girl next to him. Because she's got vampire tongue. No? Why? So guys, that's where I'm going to leave this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to watch another one from me, you can click on one of these and I'll see you over there.